welcome to another video. It's a weekly energy video for the week of May 15th through the 21st. I got new notes. New notes! Um, man, it's been interesting um, coming up with different ways to sort of read the energies of the week. I feel like this is going to be um, a lot more sensical. At least it is for me doing it this way. We start the week with the full moon in Scorpio, yeah. You may be feeling sensitive or the people around you are. Whatever is coming up for you, the beauty and the true value of this experience is how you overcome it. Yeah. So also this week is about kindness and intuition. Um, you could challenge yourself to see more possibilities this week. And in your search for meaning, your creativity will thrive. Reflect on or enjoy your favorite art, film, or fashion. Um, so there's a lot about expression this week. Your mind wants to open to new ideas. Let yourself be intuitively guided to your good ideas. This takes time. This takes time. I feel like it's a, the, the, the pool is opening, the funnel is opening for a lot of downloads. Yeah, and at the end of the week, communication is highlighted. So I feel like everyone is willing to listen to a good idea. You can learn how to talk about your ideas. Learn how to talk about your ideas. That's a thing. And just watch out because when we speak, we're really subjecting our thoughts and ideas to change and to grow. Trust yourself. Um, and I feel like another good message is to, you know, allow your ideas to change and to grow. I feel like that wasn't totally highlighted in what I wrote here, but accepting that things change. I feel like the full moon in Scorpio was really intense and highlighting where a lot of things do want to change. How volatile. Let's get into our reading. We're going to read any kind of energy that I maybe didn't touch on. Um, this is about finding your purpose, like getting deeper and deeper rooted into your purpose. Um, so these could be new ideas. They could be old ideas that have been refreshed. There may be conversations you have with people who um, reflect back to you um, some possibility, some opportunity. When I say possibility, I mean like opportunity, a way forward. And it may not happen the way that you expect. New Moon Leo, confidence is your key to success. This is all about expression. All about how you're expressing yourself, how you're um, practicing creativity. That's why I lit a, an orange candle, right? To remind ourselves to not take ourselves so seriously. Right, there's like a lightheartedness to the Leo energy. Um, they just want to be seen. So what in you wants to be seen this week? That's interesting because I got a prompt from a friend about a journal prompt that was... Oh, phone's ringing. <laughs> um, how do you take what is unseen to the scene? What a great theme for this week. Then we have new moon virgo two new moons in a row a time to give rather than take virgo is the sign of health service and assessment so you could be asking yourself well this possibility is being highlighted to me how do i make this work for everyone how do i make you know if somebody's going to help you you have to accept the help that's a message on its own but also realizing how we can um, do things with a more positive um, inflection um, through inclusion, through um, through sharing, a mutual respect and sharing, sharing of values. I mean, it is sharing ideas, yeah. So I'd say to that, um, you may not know your power in um, your influence. Leo is a lot about influence as well. You may not understand your own influence, you, the influence you have on other people. Like when you say something nice, like 
that really could change someone's day. Um, similarly, when even if we're being just a little bit negative or just a little bit short or like whatever, that can also really impact someone's day. So the line here is like confident, confident, not cocky, and also to be in service. I said this in the last video too, but we can only love someone else the way that we love ourselves. So there's like, there's something that wants to come up within the person. This is about relating though too. New moon in Cancer. So three new moons in a row. You and your loved ones are safe. I feel like the cards are trying to say like it's safe for you to open up. It's safe for you to um, talk about what you've been thinking and feeling like what is coming to the surface. Um, being a testimony, speaking testimony to your own truth could help a lot of people is what I'm getting. I also believe that possibil seeing possibilities is a way into the future um, in terms of like larger societal change as well. And if you believe that we all are a hero, right, the heroes of our own journey, to heal oneself is to heal the world. So hmm. It's, I feel like the cards are trying to be really reassuring. <laughs> like, you got this, um, you know, you can be the light f to shine for other people, to give rather than take, you know, give to others. That improves your karma. That's just good karma. And you and your loved ones are safe. A new moon, all new moons. So I feel like this is something brand new is showing up here or maybe the start of a new way of doing things, really opening up to a new method. Because Virgo is also the sign of um, sort of uh, how we organize ourselves, how we organize our life, our routines, our health routines. What are we doing to stay healthy? Being confident, doing what makes you feel confident. Oh man. I forgot that while I was sitting here before I hit record, I had learned how to shuffle this deck and then I still did it the old way. You see, the microcosm of this reading is that I'm learning to do it a different way. And that's sort of what I just said. Let's see if I can actually do it for you. I had it figured out like a moment ago. I Then I had an idea that I should make a video that's just like how to shuffle different sized decks because there are so many different sizes there's some standards and sometimes they're just a little too big all right we have the knight of swords underneath five of wands seven of swords ten of pentacles family showing up with family strategy organization showing up under Virgo a lot of fire showing up all wands showing up under Leo so far the five of wands the page of wands the Emperor in the middle ace of swords Queen of Pentacles the ghost the ghost we talked about the ghost in the last video and the wheel of fortune Um, first of all, this family thing, there's something about family here this week is being highlighted, or if not family, then, um, like, blood relatives, like whoever you consider to be your family, it could be your friends, it could just be, um, your house, it could be, um, just sort of where you really have your roots, um, and it could be something about the present, but I feel like this is also shining light as to what in your life like in the structure of your life wants to change um, or what it is more specifically more spe more specifically what it is you want to build what is it that you want to build in your life I feel like that's becoming revealed there's a truth here that's the ace of swords you know and I'll just say this because the visual is is here for me See how the sword is sort of like splitting? 
the card in half up top. Where's my focus? There it is. It's almost like the sword, if you carry the line up, it like cuts these two off from this person and it splits there. So I'm getting that there's um, some sort of uh, release or separation that is on time. Like it's something is meant to leave your life to make room for something else to come in. That's but like the, the, this cancer card is saying you and your loved ones are safe. Like it's okay. Like you could still love somebody and, and care for them and be at a distance. Um, so I feel like this is maybe insinuating there, there will be a great distance, um, but that's so that you can focus on and really take action on what you as an individual want to be building towards what you want to create. I feel like you're really imagining your ideal um, life. Um, maybe you have like a lot of energy. I feel like Mars is doing some stuff up there. So we have the Knight of Swords as the energy underneath. An unexpected message or something coming in very quickly. This could also just be an idea. We, we were talking a lot about ideas. This could just be the representation of an idea, something you want to see grow, something that wants to expand or move somewhere very quickly. That's the energy moving. Hmm. I feel like you're, whatever is restricting, whatever you perceive is restricting your growth, um, your own like willpower to go out and create this for yourself has to do with this ghost. It's the ghost stories we tell ourselves to stay comfortably scared. It's what keeps us in our comfort zone. So that's showing up here in the present, as in you're showing me that you have an inspired idea that will lead to this life that you ultimately want for yourself. But there might be some either external influence. I feel like there might be a little, little bit of manipulation. This could be self-manipulation, like self-talk saying, I'm not good enough for this thing. I think that that's why Virgo's here. When you support somebody else in their dream, when you support somebody doing what they're doing, not only do you invite the karma of that to come back to you, right? Maybe through a different channel. But I feel like it helps us to realize that all of our dreams are attainable. When we can see somebody we love also pursuing something, succeeding, reaching a milestone. So to embed ourselves in the life of another and to celebrate their wins um, might help shatter whatever this story is that you're telling yourself. This is definitely a time, an inspired time. There's a lot of creativity here that the Page of Wands is about seeing the potential. Again, seeing possibilities. I love how that shows up. It's about seeing possibilities. And the, the Page of Wands lesson then is to ground the potential of that, your vision of what could be into reality. Really make sure that you're, um, again, Virgo, organize your thoughts. Organize your thoughts. You might be having a lot of ideas, but they're not all worth keeping. I feel like that's like a message of one of the cards in this deck, but it's, I don't know that it's here. They're not all worth keeping. So it feels like Sag energy. Okay, let's move on. I'll just get a few cards for advice. Well, <laughs> okay, we'll just do that then. Um, the Ten of Cups flew out of the deck. This is actually the card of the day I pulled today. Today um, is Friday the 13th is when I'm doing this reading. The Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is a reminder that uh, con ultimate contentment and happiness is already here for us. Like, it's there. Um, we've achieved some level of... Um, happiness in our lives that just feels really, really good. Whether we know that it's there or not, I feel like that's the lesson of the overcoming. Like, if we can overcome whatever it is we're going through at the moment and realize that this is always here for us, somewhere in our life, you really start to focus on the positive things. The rainbow, look at this happy family. This just reminds me of just like spending time, 
they're like watching the sunset or something go down and they're hanging out at the park this is definitely my idea of a good time this is a good vibe card so the advice is maybe um, reach out to somebody you care about and spend some time with them in nature or wherever you can and appreciate each other's existence <laughs> and yeah thrill in that thrill thrill in the fact that we're and if you're watching this video, like, we're all alive. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to be excited about. Some, like, ideas will grow and shift. And then if you haven't already, like, you'll really solidify within yourself, like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing, or supposed to be doing. This is what I feel called to go do next, because it's going to lead to something else. I feel like the time ahead is really going to be testing us. Um, but that's just how it works. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.